Hello guys and thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. My name is Didan Moira and if you're wondering, oh sorry my darling, <laughs> and if you're wondering what this channel is all about, it's it's me, it's me Didan opening up my life to everybody. So you're going to see all the mistakes I have made, the mistakes I am still making. When I made it, when I quit, when I slid back, when I rose up, it's my journey and uh, how I am trying to transform, note the word trying, I am not perfect, trying to uh, transform my life. I am trying to learn how to lead a better life. And I'm inviting all of you guys so we can do this together. I find it easier to learn things with people. You know, I find it so much easier to learn things with people. So it's gonna be such a beautiful affair. It's gonna be a rainbow affair. Stick around and uh, you never know, you might pick a leaf for two. We might learn something. And I'm encouraging you also, if you know something I don't know, please share with me so that I can also learn and maybe put it up on this platform and then many other people learn. We're here to do this together. Life ain't easy alone, oh yeah? Now, talking about life. I don't know how many of you guys have ever seen something or somebody else's life and then you're like, my God, I just want to be them. I remember I wanted to be Beyonce. I remember I wanted to be Alicia Keys, even in university. I actually thought I looked like Alicia Keys. I even had the cornrows to go with it. Hello. I just couldn't play the guitar or the piano or I couldn't sing to save my life. I mean, yeah, I know. I know my voice. You might think I'm talented. <laughs> No, but before I move on any further, this is AOB. Let me digress. I apologize for the background noise. I have to ride, but it's locked down. Kids at home, you can't tell a five year old or four year old to keep quiet, can you? No. So I'm going to go through as they keep on playing outside. <laughs> so apologies for that. But I remember, I do not know how many of you go through it. I know I do where you compare yourself to somebody else, where you really compare yourself to somebody else that it reaches a point you want their life. You want their life. Going up, oh my God, we're going on this school trip. This was in Kenya, we're going on this school trip. We're going to the, I think it was Nakuru National Park. Oh yeah, hey. You know I always got juice for you, baby. You know I always got juice. And, uh, I was rolling with some really cool kids. Uh, some really cool kids. I mean, I had to be cool also. <laughs> so, um, lived in a place called Westlands, and uh, one of my friends who lives though very well off, one of my friends asked me, "So, yo, D, yo, girl, where do you stay? Show us where you stay, cause you say you stay along this route." And I'm like, "Yes, yeah, okay." Now, in my head, I'm thinking, "Hey, I have been to her house." Let me describe the house first. Driving. First of all, it's in a green, there were trees, leafy suburb. What they literally call a leafy suburb. All right. Leafy suburb. You walk in. They have their own. First of all, to enter the, comp the, the, the area, there's one massive gate with extreme security. Hmm? And then you drive on a smooth road, you enter, you drive the many other houses about half an acre or one acre pieces of land people have built their own homes so you drive to her house and they're all numbered 001 002 003 road this 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 i felt like i was in america you know i was in america so we get to her house you first drive down to enter that compound my friend trees flowers the place was green i was like ah, hallelujah this is it the made it in life entered that compound my gosh big playing grounds though i don't know how many bicycles parked there there were cars i think three cars are parked at the garage there was a security guy who opens for you the gate they had dogs the house was like this it was huge larger than life wow upstairs downstairs humongous kitchen that kitchen was the size of my whole house as we speak the thing is this at my age at that time i was like wow I want to live here. I want this life. So when they asked me, when she asked me where to show to show them my house, sorry about that, my SD card got full. So where was I? Um, so what I was saying is this, as soon as I saw a humongous uh, house, I pointed at that one. I was like, yeah, guys, that's my home. And I, I don't know who stays in that house. I didn't even know if maybe there was a child in this bus that stays in that house. But I saw the biggest house and I was like, yeah, that's the house we stay in. All right. 
and they're like so how many rooms is it i was like oh, five five rooms they're like five five rooms oh my god didn't i start lying they're like oh my god your house is big and i'm like guys stop it's really not, it's really not that big my jesus lord how can a young child be so evil like i'm even being humble in my own lie i am being humble in a lie like how evil can one how evil can one child be but that was the done i lied because i wanted to live in the other house my friend's house and not our house which was just a two-bedroom house i didn't want that well guys needless to say of course the evil child was busted and uh my friend's parents found out that no i did not stay in that humongous so-called five-bedroom house we actually stayed somewhere else we stayed in a company house which was three bedrooms now as a child you know, as a grown-up now i'm like three bedroom like right now where i am you find a three-bedroom house my god my god in fact that three-bedroom house we had when i was a child wow i think my whole house eh, hmm. Would be the maybe the master bedroom maybe <laughs> then as a child to me i wanted my friends life dogs big house three cars i don't know they were rich to me they looked rich and to me i felt like maybe we were, we were just not doing well i wanted that good life fast forward fast forward to me as a grown-up you think this would end as a child no fast forward to me as a grown-up i'm dying to be on radio i am dying to be on radio and i'm seeing so many people that i know on radio i got to meet a friend of mine called mackenzie by the way he has a new youtube channel subscribe it is uh at keller central yeah it's keller central please subscribe now i met mackenzie and i wanted his life I wanted his life so bad forgive the birds <laughs> but i wanted his life so bad you guys i lost sight of my own self that i started looking at mackenzie and i'm like hey why can't i be like mackenzie he's on the radio he's on tv next thing i know to make the situation worse i opened the paper one day in my whole anger i opened the paper one time and there's a story of how he's going to South Africa to do some work with Channel O. I said, Jesus, Jesus, your Lord, what is going on? Do you know, I wanted his life so bad that I I used to drink. Like, I used to drink to, to, to numb the pain that I'm feeling because I want his life and I'm not getting his life. You know, I started drinking so much that Mackenzie would bump into me months later. One minute... I am on crutches because I sprained my goddamn leg. I fell coming down the steps. Next minute, he finds me in Cayenne drinking again like this with a, a, a sleeve on my arm. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. And I'm looking at Mackenzie. Mackenzie and I'm like, look at him, wondering what happened to my arm. Oh my God, I hated him. I disliked Mackenzie because he was living my life. Next minute, he sees me. I had half a tooth. <laughs> you people, I joined, by the way, I joined Radio City. With half a tooth, I used to say, what's up? <laughs> because even, even laughing was hard. Because when the wind touches the cartoon, what? it was painful. <laughs> I think God was showing me. God was punishing me <laughs> for wanting somebody else's life. But I wanted my kid's life so much that I detested him. I disliked him. So that means I lost focus on uh, my path and how to get onto radio. Years later, we start working together. All the months later, we start working together. I get my breakthrough. We start working together. And he gives me his journey on how he got on radio. I was like, hey, forget it. I'm all right. I am all right where I am. I wish I had known the struggle that he went through, the hassle that he went through to get onto radio. I would never have wished for his life. You know, this gentleman hustled so hard every single day to get to work this gentleman hustled so hard sometimes even with no pay sometimes even with no food to become the mackenzie that we see right now and once i found this out i felt so bad that i disliked him at some point for no good reason just because i could not live his life i could not be him not knowing 
the journey that he has gone through. So you see, when we focus on other people's lives, when we focus on wanting what they have, instead of focusing on our journey, we, we, we become demons to ourselves. We hate ourselves. We start disliking, disliking other people for no good reason. They've done nothing to us. And the worst thing is this, the more we dislike them, the better they become, you know? The more they move on in life, they become bigger and better people. So we need to stop that. We need to learn how to focus on our journey. I had to learn that the hard way. Focus on my own journey because I am wasting so much time seeing the achievements my workmates are getting and I am not. Seeing the things my workmates are buying and I am not. I am wasting so much time instead of using that time to focus on me. You can compare yourself with people. There's a good way of comparing yourself, then there's a bad way. I was focusing on the negative side of comparison. I ended up wasting so much of my time. And remember, when you compare yourself to others, the negative side of it, if I may give you that, the, the, the bad side of comparing yourself, when you focus so much on other people, you lose sight of yourself. I lost sight of myself. I was a nuisance. I was a nuisance. I lost sight of myself. That it's even, I can't, there's some stories, man. There's some stories even giving you people, ace. I even feel embarrassed and stupid now. So stop focusing on other people and focus on yourself. You can compare yourself to others and say, yes, I look at Mackenzie. He inspires me. I want to be like, not I want to live his life. And then you learn from Mackenzie. See what he's doing right and pick a few gifts here and then do your own thing. Don't try and live Mackenzie's life or don't try and live my life. That's where I went wrong. I am now learning how to look at other people and appreciate my workmates and go like, wow, that is an amazing step you've taken. You've even inspired me to do this and this and this. You've inspired me to start a YouTube channel. You've inspired me to become this type of MC. You've inspired me to be a doctor. You've inspired me. That is a good comparison. All right. So if we're going to compare ourselves, look at somebody, somebody you admire. Admire them, do not live their life. Admire them, do not live their life. Pick a leaf from the things that you like about them and build your own. Create something else with what you've learned. All right? Be creative. Don't steal their life. You can't be them. Hey, I'm just imagining if God one day woke up and said, Eden, so you wanted to be so and so and so. Ah, here. Kay. I think some of us would never make it in life. So, my dear friends, my rainbow people do me a favor let's not focus on being somebody else let us focus on being better selves as ourselves two if you're going to compare yourself to somebody then do it the right way admire get inspired by what they've done and then try and do the same thing better in a better way if you want to be an mc or a hype lady like didn't Come through. Learn from me. But go way further than I could have on that journey. Alright? Let's not let's not lose focus for ourselves. Let's turn and go like, okay, I'm on the right path. Not, and then you go this side. Eh? It's just, mind you this. Eh? We're like this. You turn. Okay, alright. I'm doing alright. Ooh, that's a good idea. Let me borrow that idea and I make it even better. Let me make it mine, eh? continue moving not oh they've now done this okay let me become like this Ooh, you go all right focus on you guys thank you so much for being here with all my background noise i love you guys see you next time please oh by the way this is made in uganda by my friend ronnie <laughs>
I'm even hungry. Ugh. Oh my god. Really, child? Ugh. I have tried to get these kids to keep quiet for just five minutes. Uh, all right, let's start this for the 10th time.